Lee, yo, what a goddamn video. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October. Because you know in fall, we going to have it all, baby. Watch your bitch ball out this bitch. Pull up, pull up, pop out. All right? Listen. Leo, I have been waiting to do this reading. All of my babies like, when you going to do Leo? When you going to do Leo? I got you, baby. I got you, boo. Okay? Know that. So listen, shout out to all my babies that's been pressing me. I love it. I love it. Y'all like, like, bitch, what's, 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 what's popping? Okay, so like, thank y'all for get, being on my ass. Where is my video? Okay? Thank you guys for reaching out to me. Thank you guys for just loving me, sharing all of the love and light and positivity. You know Leo is my, one of my, if not my favorite damn sign to do every month. You have been my best biggest supporter throughout my whole time on YouTube and you know I have to give a special attention to you boo shout out to all of y'all I want to give big quick shout out to everyone who has been sending me love and light through the Amazon wish list listen we got the tarot dice y'all tarot dice listen to me y'all are doing me and y'all know my birthday is coming up on the 25th I have been being blessed all this month like y'all have been showing out for me for my birthday month thank you guys so much for all of the love and support thank you to everyone who's been sending money y'all been asking me to put a cash app link up because i guess not everyone has the paypal um and paypal be asking for too much information thank you to everyone who has been sending money through the cash app um for support anytime that you guys have been getting any type of love and light and clarity and inspiration from these videos y'all be you know sending a dollar two or three let me tell y'all because of y'all support we got so much newness here we got the tarot dice that was sent through the amazon wish list we have the um what is this the Crystal Unicorn Tarot deck that was sent through the Amazon wish list as well. What else we got that is new? We got the Moonology deck that was also sent through the Amazon wish list. Thank you guys so much for supporting me through that wish list. First off, the wish list, it never tells me when you guys order anything. It comes to me as a surprise. So I'll just be opening up my door and I'll be seeing Amazon packages, yo. I'll be literally bawling in tears like... Some of them, like now, y'all now the ones where I just the ones that I've been recording and y'all been seeing recently, like those are my raw reactions because I just be happy as shit, yo. A few of them that I've got previously that I haven't recorded, I'm yo, I be in this bitch bawling because I don't be expecting those packages, and when y'all be sending it to me. Sometimes I be having like a horrible day and then I get those packages at random and as a surprise to me. And it's just like God just showing me like regardless of what you're going through, you are loved. You know what I'm saying? And you helping a lot of people and they love you back. So regardless of what is going on in your current situation, always know that there's people out there that genuinely love and fucking care about you and support you no matter what. So always keep your head up and just know God will send you blessings in many forms. And even though they are, you know, decks and things like that, it inspires me to study more of my craft and continue to do what I'm doing. So thank you guys because... This, this stuff comes as a surprise to me, and I, I just can't express, like, how grateful I am for my Leos and everyone that's been supporting me from day fucking one. Y'all are my OGs. I fucking love y'all. Y'all have gone through one of the major transitions I have seen, period, thus far, bar none. Y'all are the originators of showing every other sign in the Zodiac how to change and rearrange and call in your blessings and take your power back. If y'all ain't do nothing, y'all done show motherfuckers how to take your power back, okay? And instead of you being a chaser, they chasing you and you handing them dust, okay? And I mean dust, honey. What? Leos don't goddamn play. Listen to all my babies that has been sending support through the Cash App. I was able to purchase the Santa... Morte, um, tarot deck in the Oracle deck. 
this deck and this one oh and then this was my other deck that was sent to me um through the amazon wish list which is the witches uh the witches oracle which is wisdom oracle deck these three freaking decks right here man o m g I have got so much clarity in my life. These two decks right here, you know, I'm a Scorpio. We're all about death, rebirth, and transition. Every single thing that has been going on personally in my life. You know, sometimes you be second guessing, like, am I doing enough? Am I doing the right thing? This deck confirms to me every day, Red, you were on the right path. Continue to go forward. God is proud of you. Your spirit guides are proud of you. You need to be proud of you. Continue forth and do not look back. This deck and this deck showing me my path and showing me how to close doors and open new ones. So thank you guys on a personal level. Personal level. Because like I, I can't even just go into it, but... Whew, like I got chills right now just even talking to y'all about these freaking cards. I cannot wait to pull these out for y'all in the mid-month. I fucking love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I would not have any of this if it was not for your love and support and motivating me. And just like I said, y'all like, where's Leo? Where's Leo? Baby, I got, if I ain't got nobody, I got my motherfucking Leos, boy. My, my Leos. And my Libras and my Aries, y'all, y'all don't have to ever, 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 ever question my love, baby. Y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all can have it all. I mean, all of me. You can have all of me, baby. Okay, every last bit, every last drop, man. Y'all deserve it. Y'all are worth it, and y'all deserve it. So let's get into this energy if there's anyone that wants to support or if you want to book a personal private reading the first thing that you need to do if you want to support always click the like button and share if you care okay share if you care baby if you want to book a personal private reading you can always just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com you can send me a personal message on my instagram because i i only do video chats okay so you can send me a message on instagram which is um the link is in the about tab my booking page is there too but it just makes it a little bit more easier so i don't have to you know reiterate don't forget to send me a message on instagram like y'all could just really skip the booking page just send me a message on instagram since we want to be doing the video reading there anyway you know what i'm saying it just makes it less of a hassle you know and i realize that and i'm probably just going to do away with that booking page and yeah, so in the near future, that's probably just going to go away because I really, it's too much of a hassle. Y'all book through the booking page and then we got to track each other down. Okay, well, send me a message here so that we can communicate. It's, it's, it's too much. So just send me a message on Instagram or if you got any questions, you could just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. But like I said, all of the links are in the about tab. If these video resonate and you want to send some support and love, have it be through um, Amazon, have it be through Cash App or um, what is it? PayPal. All of that stuff is in the description. Um, shoot, and if you want to buy a morning slide mug, you can buy that there too. I have a um, a merch store there with my uh, morning slide uh, mugs. So, shout out to everyone who's been sending love and support. Let's get into the energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. As you can see, I'm excited. I am delighted. You know when fall, we're going to have it all and we're going to show them how to ball, Father God. We're going to show them how to ball, Father. Thank you so much for elevating us and just, you know, keeping us in the highest regard, in a, in, in a place of priority, Father God. It feels like we are always the top five of priority and you never leave our side. You always confirm it, uh, you know, just every step of the way to what we're doing and we're doing the right things and just you know keeping us on this blueprint on the steps of our destiny we are literally walking in the footsteps of our destiny right now father god and we thank you because last year was a lot of things that we didn't see it was a lot of things that we didn't see we can see with 2020 crystal clear vision to have crystal clear intentions and we are grabbing hold of everything that our heart holds dear and that our heart wants 
you know anything that our heart desires we know how to get it now we know the art of true self-love and of manifestation and glory because they don't know our story father god so listen what they say it's the god in me hey it's the god in me they think you're so fresh they think they're so clean look what is it that you think you see in me they don't even understand what we've been through leo they do not uh, leo would it be yo they do not understand what we went through to get to where we're at right now to be standing in these blessings okay they don't understand and a lot of people ain't strong enough to go through what the hell we went through okay in the name of jesus let it say set let it be set forth into the glory so father god thank you so much for just making us who we are thank you so much for taking us so far thank you so much for waking us every up every day and just Helping us be the best that we can be, Father God. Please give us guidance for my Leos. Let us know what it be, yo. Okay? We are reloaded. Help us get reloaded for all of the blessings coming to us in the month of October. Because, you know, in fall, we're going to have it all. And, again, we're going to show them how to ball. Father, give us the glory. Thank you so much. Amen. All right. We're going to start off with this wonderful, wonderful moonology that y'all so graciously sent my way. Thank you so much. Because it's going to give us some good guidance today, Father God. Don't y'all feel that good energy, y'all? I am surely feeling it. Give me guidance for my wonderful Leos. Because they don't even understand what it be around here. They don't understand what it be around here. Give me guidance. All right. Give me guidance. Ooh. It says a fixed moon. Oh, and you better know we a fixed sign. Let me say it one more time. We have fixed energy around here. Okay? So this says fixed moon. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. Leo. Do you understand, baby? Come on now. Come on. I was just told to read y'all the book. Let's go to the good book. Let's go to the good book. Let's go to the good book. Yes, it says there are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation that you're in. Second, a very different interpretation is that someone is stuck. That could be, oh Lord, it, okay girl, don't you do it today. Don't, don't let your eyes get all crossed like you'd have been dipping in the sauce. We ain't been dipping in no sauce today. We ain't been drinking, okay? So <laughs> that could well be referring to the situation you're asking about. If that's the case, have a think about what you can do to grease the wheels so that the events move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great. Because it's in the name of Jesus. Okay? Stop! Okay. If you were being stubborn, was that a sign that some of y'all are being stubborn about something? <laughs> it says, if you were being stubborn, if so, that's great. Because you if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in. Be the one to break a deadlock. With two imprecations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance to do some self-reflection. Attune to the moon. Yes. Just say the word a lot and see how it feels. Yes. Again, just say the word a lot and see how it feels. What I'm getting from that, whatever it is that y'all been asking about, I feel, I feel like the answer is yes, whatever this is. That's why Spirit is saying hold your vision because the answer is yes to that prayer. It says stay in power. Faith or patience is needed. Someone needs to back down. Avoid stagnation. A personal or professional relationship will be enduring. In astrology, there are three quadruplices. Oh no, I can't say quadruplices. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Anyway, cardinal fixed immutable. Yeah, immutable. The fixed signs or Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Fixed signs can be stubborn. So anything that's just starting as you draw this card may 
will last longer. Remember, we each have all the star signs in our chart. It's just the way the, the uh, 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 astrological wheel works. So there's no judgment when we say that while it's admirable how much staying power the fixed signs have, it could also be abstained. Why well, I can't pronounce shit today. Abst abstinent, sorry. Lord Jesus, Louises. My ass can't talk, my ass can't read. Lord, Lord, help me. What in the hell? Okay. So, I get what they're saying. I don't think they're playing about us being stubborn because I'm a Scorpio. I'm very much so a fixed sign, so I know I can be stubborn. Like, I don't like change. I like to know what's going on. I like to be abreast of things so I can know how things are moving, so I can know how to go forth in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't like a whole bunch of foolishness going on around me. So, in regards to you guys... Holding on to your vision. Like whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish at this time. Like I want y'all to continue to stand firm. But like I said. Don't continue digging your heels in the, in the ground. Where it's like. You know. Causing you stagnancy. You know what I'm saying. Because the mission is for us to grow. And to continue to move. Not to bury ourselves in the current situation. Where there's not going to be any progress. So it's like hold on to your vision, but don't be y'all, don't kick your own self in the foot. You see what I'm saying? So let's see what type of unicorn energy we got here. Please give me guidance for my Leos. Alright. Clear vision. Holding our vision. Golly. Really? You doing all of that? Oh, hold on. We got passion. We got that fire burning. Fire and desire. Hold on, what is this? We got passion, we got delight, and we got magic. Do you believe in magic? I don't know the rest of the words. Anyway, that's the only part I know. Anyway, <laughs> yes, y'all got some shit that y'all cooking up for real. For real. It says passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about life. Increase your energy on all levels. Hold your vision. Get that passion burning. You understand? If you want shit to start cracking off, you got to do and be who you are. That's a fire sign. That is just right off the bat. Okay? You will have delight in everything that you're doing. It's saying count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in the simple things and always expect the best. Be passionate. Do what you want and you will see the delight. You will see the delight. Morning, noon. And nights, okay? Yes, God. And it's some magical energy flying around you, baby. Oh, it's some definitely powerful unicorn puss-ass energy around this junk, okay? What? It says, make a wish. Believe in miracle. Magic surround you. Y'all got some fairy godmothers around y'all sprinkling some damn fairy dust around you. That passion is burning, y'all. And I'm trying to tell y'all, it's some very... I don't know. Do y'all believe in fairies? Do y'all believe in fairies? Hmm. All I'm going to say, if you have a lot of, like, roses and stuff, and, and like, if you plant a lot of plants and stuff in your yard, and, and you got, like, a lot of bees and trees and pretty flowers and stuff, oh, y'all definitely have fairies around in your, in your area, in your yard, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. So, look, look, look. Mm, mm, mm. Let me close that door, y'all, because I can already see my kids is on their goddamn list. I can already tell they about to have it on up. They just got home from school, honey, and they just had some snacks. They is all energized, okay? They got some passion burning up in them. So, give us some guidance here. In regards to this delight that's about to come morning, noon, and night. And this magic going on. Yo, I just keep looking at this. This magic car is giving me like butterflies in my stomach. It's giving me butterflies. Have y'all been feeling that kind of nerve, that nervous positive energy like them butterflies in your stomach? Did y'all meet someone new or something like that? 
Because that's how I feel when I'm going on a date with someone for the first time. Or what? Ooh, look, the Knight of Wands, too. Ooh, some good shit is coming to y'all fast and furious. Ooh, I'm real curious now. What's going on? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Lord, that's the five of sports. Mm-mm. That's some sneaky conniving action. Now, who the hell coming at you with that? That's, ooh, okay. Okay. Eight of Wands, I'm trying to tell you, it's like some a lot of fast, passionate communication. Who y'all been talking to? What is going on? Ooh, the Four of Pentacles, but you like, hold on, baby. I don't know if I want to give you all I got yet. Hold on, baby. You coming at me a little fast. Like, God damn, you coming at me a little fast. You want me to give up all my goods and shit already? Like, God damn. Someone trying to come at you, they want the good puss? They want the good. Someone said, there's magical unicorn puss in the building. There's magical unicorn Power Ranger puss in the building. You like, uh-uh. Like, why you, why you sending all your targets at me? Like, uh, yeah. damn, you, you, you. I'm give, I'm doing you like that. Yes, you are. You're amazing. I like you, and I want you. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all remember that? Um, y'all remember that video back in the day with that man in jail when he talked about he how much he liked booty. <laughs> <laughs> There's about one to two ways we about to go about this. I like booty more than I like air. I like booty more than I like water. Ain't that what he told them people? Ain't that what he told him? I like your booty. Okay? It's your booty and your beauty. And I want all of it. And <laughs> you're like, in the name of Jesus, hold on, what? What? All of that, all of that. Oh my gracious. My gracious. I ain't never seen. <laughs> I ain't never seen Leo holding back like that. Like someone is scaring Leo. Leo, what it be, yo? My goodness. My goodness. They got you ready to hold yourself back a little bit. Like, I don't know. You asking for a lot there, brother. You asking for a lot. Good gracious. I don't know if I'm ready to give up all of that. You want all my good pudding. Okay, girl. You just did too much. You did too much. You did way too much right there. Really? Rip. Okay, let me read. That's what I came here to do. I came here to read. So, someone coming at Leo real strong or hard with a whole lot of passionate communication. I feel like so. Mm, I just heard someone sending y'all um penal pictures. Has someone been signing in y'all inbox sending y'all um dusty hall pictures? What? And you're like, uh-uh, baby, that's making me uncomfortable. Like, uh-uh, why you coming at me like that? Why you coming at me like that with the Empress card in the reverse? Uh-uh, I don't know if I like, uh-uh, I don't know if I like all of that. You coming on real strong. But you're looking kind of long in the name. You're looking kind of long while you sending all of these wand pictures. What? You get one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They do not stop. They done added the eighth day in there. It's like, wait, wait, what? Is you doubling down on Man Crush Monday or something? What in the fuck? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They're like, uh uh. What? I don't think, listen, I don't think, look, Leo been trying to save their money and get their money and stuff together so that they can do certain things. Like, I don't think that they're really uh, ready to address all that. They're not ready to address all of that. I feel like all of this attention is making Leo a little bit uncomfortable. And I would have never thought I would ever see the day where Leo be looking like this. Look at you, look at you, look at you, and look at you. Oh, my gracious. Oh, my gracious, I feel like some of y'all want to hide y'all money. And y'all thinking, <laughs> I don't know, some of y'all just came into some money or something like that. Yeah, I feel like some of y'all just came into some money. And I feel like y'all dressing down like a bust down right now. Like, y'all ain't even going outside and all y'all good fabrics and shit like that. Because y'all don't want this. Y'all are hiding the fact that y'all have money. Because you want to make sure that whoever this is want to deal with you because of you and not your assets, not your royalties. 
not anything that you have. So, this Empress in Reverse, I feel like y'all are being real humble in regards to your outer aesthetics. You know what I'm saying? Like, when the person come and meet you, or maybe when the person came and met you, or y'all bumped into each other, like, it was your laundry day or something like that, and you just had some sweatpants and a white tee, and you're like, your new balance or something on in your hair up in the, in, in the top knot. You know, like you weren't even trying to be looking all cute and shit like that. You was just, you know, chilling, letting the bunions breathe and shit. And like this person caught you off guard, like trying to holler at you. You're like, God damn, nigga, you don't see him? I'm, I'm out here washing clothes and shit. I don't even feel all comfortable and stuff like that. Like you just sliding up on me. Like I'm the best thing since sliced bread. They're like, baby, you all see them booty cheeks popping, popping out them goddamn gray sweatpants, girl. Looking thicker than a snicker. If you look like that on your worst day, I can't only imagine what you look like on your best, baby. Your booty is blessed. Your booty is black. Come and come here. Bring that ass over here. Are you like, what? <laughs> I feel like, oh, the queen of, I you, the queen of pentacles. I, didn't I tell y'all y'all was sitting on a cute ass coin? Y'all are sitting on a cute-ass coin. Y'all live in a nice-ass neighborhood. Y'all live a very luscious and luxurious life. Or you are about to. And I feel like you trying to hide this information from whoever this is trying to court you. Because you don't want this person to know how much money you have at all. Because before in the past when you let people know... What you're capable of and everything that you got and you kind of put yourself all the way out there. It was a living nightmare. You know what I'm saying? And I also feel like all of this communication and everything. I want to say y'all are kind of letting y'all thoughts get to the best of you. Like maybe when you be sitting in the bed at night, you be like, mm, I need to hold back. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all be going around this person looking like homely or something. I want to say that y'all are trying to get this person to kind of back off. Why do I feel like that? I feel like there's some Leos that are just like, especially the women. Y'all are, is this a woman? This is the woman. This is like, it's something about this energy of this person. I, I feel like the aggressiveness to how they're coming off is just making you a little bit uncomfortable and it's making you want to hold yourself back. And that's why when you be around them, you don't be dressing to your best. Even though you got some nice set, you, you treat yourself well. It's like, I want to make sure this person is genuine. And also, I just, I, I feel like there's this nervousness. This is nervousness to me. This is nervous. I feel like y'all be up late at night talking on your phone and this person be talking all nasty to you and all this shit. You be like, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. What? Oh my God. Like, I feel like y'all are scared. <laughs> it's like some nervousness there. And it, it I, I, look, look, look. y'all might be dealing with a motherfucker Scorpio. Y'all already know how we do. Y'all already know how wheels come and scoop down on y'all. Okay. I feel like this is too much. It's like too much too soon it's because scorpios can move fast quick fast in a hurry it's like uh-uh god is my witness he know what i want i want her don't think i can't see how fat that, that booty is uh but look, look i see you i believe you give it to me and leo like uh-uh no you make me nervous i think mm -mm. Nope, I can see this being a nightmare, waiting to happen and shit. No, you trying to move too fast. You doing too much too soon. Nope, I'm just about to, mm -mm, about to cut you out and just get you the fuck on the body here. I'm going to get you the fuck on the body here. And then, and then, and then it's going to remind you, the Scorpio is very intuitive. And Scorpio said, God damn it, you ain't about to run me off. You see that black tourmaline sitting right there, baby? I will, uh-uh. We about to transmute all this negative energy and turn it into some positivity and shit like that. You ain't about to just run me off like that. What? I say when the shit stops, okay? And you're like, hold on, nigga, you aggressive as shit. Why the fuck you so aggressive? Because don't be trying to shut me down. Don't be trying to shut me down, okay? I'm going to take all this negative shit and I'm going to suck it on up and we're going to spit that on back on out into the universe. That ain't even what we trying to do right now. That ain't what we, don't, be trying to, don't be trying to block me out. Don't be trying to cut me out. Don't be trying to shut me down. 
Uh uh. What we gonna do is we gonna you gonna come on here and we gonna negotiate about some shit. Okay. Five of Swords. This is it. Could mean an aggressive situation going really left, or it could mean people, you know, throwing their swords down, having a truce, and just be like, look, okay. I already, look, I already see what you're trying to do. You all nervous. You all scared. Bitch, don't be scared. Get prepared. Don't be scared. Get prepared. I, look, I'm about to give you all this goodness, okay? Don't try to shut me out like that. You understand? Maybe I could tone it down a little bit. I understand Scorpios ain't got the best reputation. And you out there reading shit and you looking at shit on Google. Looking up Scorpio men and all this shit. Now you got all this bullshit chopped up in your head about how fucked up we is. And it's going to be a nightmare for you. You sitting up there reading reviews and shit. And you all in the comments and stuff. Let me show you who I really am. Let me show you who I really am. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're not even giving me a chance in the name of Jesus. Just let me talk to you. Come and talk to me. I really want to meet you, girl. I really want to know your name. Come on. Oh, come and talk to me. I really want to meet you, girl. I really want to know your... Oh, 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 God. Okay, no, I'm sorry. Mm -mm, that was real disrespectful. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. You look so sexy, you really turn me on, blow my mind every time I see your face, girl. You look so sexy, you really turn me on, blow my mind every time I see your face, girl. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, whoever the fuck this is, is, like, not allowing you to just hold back and shut them down. Like, I understand. And I'm trying to tell you, I feel like it's a Scorpio that's coming at y'all hella fucking aggressive. And you just feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And you just, at night, just be like, yo, I don't even know if I really want to get involved with this Scorpio. This motherfucker seemed like some trouble. I'm just trying to shut it down. And Scorpio's like, no, you're not. You're going to give me a chance. Let me show you that I'm a good person. Let me show you to stop Googling shit. You ever like had a little cough, achy head, uh, what's it, stuffy season so you could rest medicine? What's that shit? <laughs> you were having them symptoms and you start Googling shit and, and you reading motherfucking shit on Google and they had your ass thinking that you got cancer and shit the whole time. You, you got a common cold like shit. But now they got you all anxiety written and shit. You all scared at night going to sleep like, I got cancer. Oh, my God. They said on the Internet that this was my Bitch, if you don't calm your ass down and go get you some NyQuil, bitch, you ain't got nothing but a comical. Get... Stop reading the shit on the goddamn Internet. Ding. Look, there you go. Confirmation from spirit. Ding. Stop reading that shit on the Internet. Okay? And if you need some, get you, get you some smoky quartz, girl. Okay, it is your world. Get you some smoky course. This help you against nightmares and stress and anxiety and negative thoughts. This is a grounding stone. Okay, don't you see that smoky course on the tip of the uh, of the wand? Cool it down, honey. Just cool it down. Okay, this person is just very active. It's just action oriented and just goes after what they want. I mean, shit. Like what the fuck? But you mad at somebody for going at you because they really want you? Like, what you want me to beat around the bush and play around with you and shit? No, if I see you, I want you. I'm serious about it. Like, come on. Like, what you acting all scary and shit? You acting all scary like Mary. You're like, look, can you please just take the blindfold off with this two of swords and just listen to me? All right, look. You said I was coming on too much when it's too much communication, too much messages and stuff like that. Listen. Because I want to say that this person was like, Texting you every morning, like, good morning, beautiful, this, this, and that. Sending you imp um, inspirational memes and, like, you see this person posting stuff online. Like, shit, I might have found the one. Like, this motherfucker's a Leo. She's motherfucking very beautiful. I think I might have found my wife. And, and, like, um, Leo, like, um, he can't be talking about me. I am talking about you. I am talking about you. Why you feel like you can't be, like, courted like that? Like, you should be glad someone posting shit online about you and wanting to flaunt you like that. Like, what are you scared of? 
What are you seeing that I don't see? I don't feel like I'm a bad person. Why are you allowing your anxieties and shit to eat you up? Have I did something to show you that I'm a bad person? Am I, what am I doing wrong? Other than showing you how interested I am in you. And like the Scorpio is like, listen. When a man don't really move like this and don't it's not that action oriented to taking interest and stuff y'all women be complaining but then when a man is really trying to go at you and trying to court you trying to take you out trying to show you finer things y'all be trying to call a nigga thirsty and bugaboo and all that y'all need to make y'all mind up you know what i'm saying this is the conversation that's being had you need to make your mind up because at the end of the day i'm on your line right now i'm trying to let you know what's going on how i'm feeling and what I see, you know what I'm saying? I really do feel like you're an amazing person. I really want you to stop holding yourself back and acting scary with me and allow me to really show you who I am. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about, I, and I, a Scorpio is very sexual in nature. Like this person doesn't want you just for sex. Like this person really likes you and wants to talk to you and get to know you but you had your blinders on you were confused you really didn't know how to make a decision that's why he he's having this conversation with you right now give me a chance just let me talk to you you know or give me a reason a real reason other than the fact that you scared and you don't read some dumb ass shit on fucking facebook or some dumb ass shit because you're not really giving me a valid reason why you're not giving me a chance. When I'm really trying to romance you. Like dead ass. And here go the two of wands in reverse. The two of wands. This is basically showing that the fire sign is still a bit confused. Even though they're finally taking that blindfold off. They're able to see where the Scorpio. And I'm sorry I really do think that this is a Scorpio that y'all are dealing with. Because the Scorpio is right here. I'm sorry. It's right here. Even though you see where the Scorpio is coming from. And the Scorpio has valid points. They really haven't done anything to you to make you act and treat them like that. It's just like. I feel like it might be your own insecurity or something. Like I don't know why. Like I don't get it. Whatever. But. You, you still you still not sure if you want to take action on this situation. You're not sure if you want to take action on this situation. I feel like you found out that this Scorpio just recently had a divorce. And, um, you know, ever the Scorpio just had a divorce. And you feel like they need some time between residents before. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just broke up. You know what I'm saying? With your ex-wife or your ex-husband or whatever, whatever. Y'all are still in the in a in the process of moving and dispersing assets like who's getting this, who's getting the house, who's taking the dog, who this 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 and this and that. I feel like the Leo doesn't want to get involved in it. They want you to make sure that you continue that you seriously wrap that shit up. And that and not necessarily even that. If it's not a situation where this person is divorcing and the Leo wanna make sure that they're not no rebound or no shit like that. I feel like Leo might be looking into the situation to make sure that this motherfucker ain't broke and just looking for a place to live. I'm not getting that at all. I'm not, is this the king of fucking... I told you it's a fucking Scorpio. I told you, I told you, I told you. This person is not trying to come at you on no bullshit, Leo. Like, this is like you putting all this negative ass shit in your head. And that's why the Scorpio was like, girl, do you... Listen, do you need some black tourmaline? Do you need to get yourself together? Okay? Because you got a lot of negative thoughts and a lot of bullshit. And you need to sink to that shit and send that, chuck it back off to the universe. Don't become those negative thoughts because you're not about to make me feel like I'm a bad person because you sitting over here all this bullshit. Because like this person is trying to treat the Scorpio like they're the fucking walking plague or something. Like they're going to do something or try to hurt, manipulate like they a rebound. Like why are you... Like, you playing yourself. Like, you dead ass playing yourself. Because this Scorpio is not trying to do you no motherfucker wrong. Like, you about to fuck yourself up on God. Like, you about to fuck yourself all the way up. Listen. You need to have some strength. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to let a good man walk by you, 
Because you think someone trying to take your money, someone trying to take advantage of you, like the Scorpio don't give a fuck about your money. You're attractive. You got a lot going for yourself. Um, you know, they're graciously trying to take you out and give you their time and spend their money on you. Like, did they ask you for some money? Like, this is like this is some like Leo female that was taken advantage of in the past and is literally taken like on some bag lady shit. Bag lady, you might hurt your back. Dragging all them bags like that. I guess nobody ever told you how you must hold on to issues, issues, issues. One day, all them bags gon' get in your way. One day, all them bags gon' get in your way. I said one day, all them bags gon' get in your way. One day, all them bags gon' get in your way. So, pack light. Nigga, your king of cups. Nigga, your Scorpio. This one is emotionally mature. This one is well respected. This one has business of their own, house of their own. Their kids is grown. If they not grown, they like in high school or something like that. Like these kids are like not even going to be an issue. Their ex-wife or their baby mother, whoever, is not even an issue. They have a good working relationship. Everything that's going on in this King of Cups life is good. They just want a decent woman. Someone that they can call their own. Like this person has been a bachelor for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And they finally found someone that is up to their speed. And they got excited. You know, they got excited. There's a lot of passion burning here. This person is taking delight in you. They feel it's magic. There's a magical chemistry here. And it's like... Somebody... Like, this... this I don't, I'm not getting it. This is the Scorpio. This is a Leo woman. going. And you know what the craziest thing is? is every time that I do Leo reading, I always pick up on a Leo male energy. This is Leo female energy. So... And that's why that, that holding your vision, that fixed moon, now I am thinking that this might be some negative energy because it's like you so fixated on what you think and that you're not seeing the other side of the fence. And even though this person is begging you to like give them a chance, it's like you so fixated and holding your vision of what you think about this person that you possibly about to, I mean... Mm. Let's see. Clarify this empress in the reverse. This is someone that felt uncomfortable. She felt caught off guard. The nine of spades. Oh. Two nines. The nine of spades and the nine of diamonds. This is failure. I feel like maybe y'all might have had a recent failure with a Scorpio. Or like I said, y'all read about some failure or something with a Scorpio. That and or you might still be locked up and entangled in a situation that needs to end. And maybe you can't talk to the Scorpio. Because I think it's you that's going through a separation or a divorce. And you are the one that's in the process of moving. You are the one that's needed to save your money and hold back on things. You are the queen of pentacles right here. And you are insecure. And you're going through this shit because you are in the process of wrapping up some cycles here. And you're just being really, comp you're being really political about how you engaging with this person because like I said bag lady this don't have nothing to do with the Scorpio like this Scorpio ain't do nothing to you to make you act the way that you are you 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 you're, you're in your own mental prison 
Like you are your own worst enemy in this situation right here. You 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 are literally in your own gas chamber right now. Like you gonna hurt your damn self on everything that I know. Like seriously. The nine of diamonds. Like this is a situation right here that can lead you to ultimate success, ultimate fulfillment. And truly the way this Leo is looking at things is like I'm better on my own. I'm more successful on my own. I achieve my goals on my own. Um, I don't want no one here to take advantage or, 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 or to reap the benefits from my success and everything that I've done. And like you are... You a piece of work. I'm sorry because I don't I don't see that this Let me clarify for y'all so y'all can know what I'm trying to say. Let me clarify for y'all. So let's go right here to this nine of spades. The nine of spades. Traditionally a card of sadness, adversity and failure and suffering, emotional or physical pain, grief, malice. It's a very unfavorable card if four bodies, tragic events, including accidents, serious injury, um, serious illness. Like I'm trying this is a mental illness. Like this is someone that is like self-defeating. You know what I'm saying? In their own prison of their own delusion you know what i'm saying it says self-injury self-injury harm to oneself or another and it's because you are <laughs> you being in this way of thinking like this you are not only going to hurt yourself but you hurting someone else that is like a very hold on let me blow that out not only are you hurting yourself by holding yourself back and keeping yourself in a mental prison about something and someone that did nothing to you, but trying to literally come at you and trying to court you, you going to hurt yourself, but you're hurting this person too. Cause you're like making this person feel like shit. Like it's something that they did to make you feel warranted to treat them like that, but they didn't do anything to you. This says feeling pressure and forced to do something. You feel like you're being pressed in, like this person is forcing you to, like, honestly, like, anyway. It said it can indicate loss of control, a breakdown of established patterns. It could represent disappointments or a broken heart, karmic debt, obligations, and duty to yourself and others. Ever you're still locked in a situation with this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse where you're getting out of a rocky situation with someone else and y'all are having to break down assets and you're having to start all over and you might not be in the best situation right now and that's why you are reacting to this person who literally is not doing anything but trying to contact you and trying to let you know how serious they are about trying to get to know you after you were feeling financially um i want to say debunked and estranged i'm like Yeah, it's like you're in you're your own worst enemy right now. You know what I'm saying? And with that karmic debt right there, that's telling me that this is something where you have continuously became your own undoing. And this is for a Leo female. It's your thinking. I'm feeling like a very pessimistic thinking because it's shit that happened in the fucking past and you need to clean your debt with whatever that shit is because you're blocking your blessing you you have this mentality like you good on your own and you're going to end up alone being an old nasty ass cat lady like let's keep it 100 let's keep it 100 like this person is not your ex or your past or whoever did whatever fucked up to you to make you feel this way this person didn't do that to you so that's why i'm trying to tell you it's like they're just very passionate about you and that's how scorpios are like they're very very passionate if they see something they want they have no problem with letting that shit be known but don't like like you i, I and i heard that you told this person like they thirsty like I'm thirsty. Be like, I feel like y'all got disrespectful with this person. 
And they didn't deserve that. The nine of diamonds. Extra money. A check. A bonus. The brain. Mental energy. Psychic ability. Imagination. You let your imagination go away with you. Electricity. Um, electromagnetic energy. Other people's wishes and desires that affect and influence the quadrant. Fame. Celebrity. Public office. Bureaucratic red tape when surrounded by unfavorable cards. So it could be this person's popularity. Scorpios, well, no, a lot of Scorpios are very famous. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I really do feel like it's some shit. It's some shit going on with the Leos that they they need to with this Empress in Reverse. Like that is definitely telling someone that's uncomfortable with their self, someone that needs a makeover, someone that needs to change. You know what I'm saying? Someone that's not growing. The Empress plant seeds and grows. This could even someone that ever can't have children. Or it's not that you can't have children, but you don't have children because of your own thinking. And you block your own blessings where you can have a good and a loving and committed relationship. It's like your thinking. And like, I'm sorry. Like, mm, like you get in your own way. I don't ever get this type of energy when I'm doing Leo's reading and that male energy come out. And Leo male energy is like hella confident. What is this? The King of Diamonds. I did not tell you this motherfucker got their own money. This person has their own money. The King of Diamonds is like an accountant, like a banker or something like that. Not only do I think that this person is very popular and stuff in this year. And you see how I feel like you you kind of leaving this person out in the cold. Like, you, you're sending this person some very cold, frigid energy. Like, it's cold in the D, you know? But this person can handle and manage any type of weather you try to throw at them. Like, they're not. Like, a Scorpio. See, the thing about a Scorpio. A Scorpio don't back down. Do you understand what I'm saying? A Scorpio does not back down. And people might complain about, like you're complaining about the amount of attention and how hard this person is going at you, trying to court you and stuff. But when they go away, they go away and they will never turn back for you. They're about big business. You understand what I'm saying? The King of Diamonds is about investing in something that they know that is going to pay off for them in the long run. This man got the, his own money. This man is like in a place of hierarchy. Am I, is that a word? Whatever. It's in a high level ranking position. They don't need nothing from you. So it's like, why are you being so fucking mean like that? Because at the end of the day, when Scorpio turn their back on you and they don't want to deal with you no more because of the way that you've been dealing with them, then they be like, oh, Scorpio is mean. No, Scorpio is not mean. Scorpio is like pouring their heart out to you and you carrying the fuck out of them and calling them thirsty. <laughs> fucking thirsty. Queen of Spades, like this is someone with a very negative mindset and a pessimistic way of thinking. Like the Queen of Spades is not someone with good energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not at all. The Queen of Spades is someone that is very emotionally withdrawn, very cold very sharp tongue and you know can be a little cruel at times i don't think this king of diamonds deserves that you got very dark energy dark energy what's going on with this ten of pentacles in reverse who is this that is dealing with some ten of pentacles clarify this ten of pentacles please this Ten of Pentacles, someone just had a divorce and broke up, recouped all their assets and moved on and looking for a brand new fucking loving relationship. This person wants to get married again. Just because some shit ain't work out in the past, that's not going to allow them to stop their love. I'm trying to tell y'all, whoever this is, is fucking up. 
Because this person looks at this Leo woman like this is someone that I should have gotten married to. But I don't know, Scorpio. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't really like this energy. Look. I feel like whoever this woman is, this is the work card. Like, it's going to take a lot of work to crack this person's shell. I feel like this person has had three failed relationships that didn't work out for them. And it takes... And they take this shit out on other people. And they make people work ten times as hard than they really should have to to get their affection and love. And they possibly are still very cold and you know, mentally manipulative. Like this isn't that that that's not mm. -hmm. I don't know who this Scorpio is, but fucking run. Because, like, I'm sorry. Like, Leo, I fuck with y'all and everything. But y'all not going to be treating my Scorpios like that. Especially not a good one. Like, this is a good one. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you tripping right now. You whole ass tripping right now. And everybody be talking all that shit. Oh, you annoying. You show too much affection and you too sexual. But when you stop fucking with them, then they want to cry. And then they want your attention and to come back. Nah, motherfucker. When I was there and I was trying to love on you and I was trying to court you and I was trying to do all that shit, you called a motherfucker thirsty. You were disrespectful. You ain't want nothing to do with me. So don't turn around and get mad and be talking shit because you see me dating someone else and I'm doing something else when I wanted to be with you. And you got me putting all this work in and I'm trying to show you like, don't do that. Because now I'm getting upset. Mm -mm. This is remember who you are. But this is in the reverse. Like it's saying you are powerful. Loving and a creative child of God. You are very loved. I don't even think you remember that. Like why are you this fucking cold? Leo like what the fuck is going on here? Like, do you want to be alone? Like, I'm serious because, like, this is... I was getting excited for y'all. But now I'm seeing, like, the energy that y'all are coming at with the person with. I'm just like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? And it's, like, literally, like, this person didn't do anything to really make you feel like that. Like, you going off of your imagination and what you think somebody's going to do to you. Like, ain't nobody... And you see, the angel is holding this sword of truth. Like, seriously, this is some true tea. What did this person legitimately do to make you treat them like that? This is not even nobody from the past. This is not nobody from the past. There's no past in, in it. None. 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 Like, remember who you are. Like, were you ever... What made you so cold and... and, and Secluded like this. Courage. That's literally the Leo card. Strength. You need to get your shit back together so you can get back in the game. Because I don't want you... Because I'm trying to tell you what's going to happen. You're going to continue to push this Scorpio away. And this, Cor this Scorpio is going to be like, you know what, fuck you. I'm not going to let you keep putting me down like... I'm the walking plague or something. Like, I'm the worst thing that you've ever met in your life. And you keep telling me all this dumb ass shit that you don't read online. You know what? Fuck it. You can have the online shit. I'm going to go fuck with someone that really want to give me a, a chance. I wanted this shit with you. But clearly, you think it's okay to disrespect me and talk to me in the type of way that you want to. And, like, I'm just about to sit here and allow it and then be put down. I'm good. Then as soon as the Scorpio starts doing that and you see this person out dating and posting pictures with someone else, you're going to be mad as shit. And you're going to wish that you would have had the courage to get over your shit because it's like some personal shit. And like I said, that fixed moon, it's two, si it's two sides. Of this. You know what I'm saying? You could just be being stubborn and getting in your own motherfucker way, digging your foot into the ground, not going anywhere. That empress in the reverse, not growing. Not seeing what you need to do. The empress in reverse is someone that needs to have a makeover. Someone that needs to freshen herself up. 
that needs to change their self so that they can be the empress in the reverse and grow. This is like whoever this is, like you don't even have any kids and you like grown as hell. You know what I'm saying? And it don't have nothing to do with nobody else. I feel like it has something to do with you and the way that you deal with people. And it's like you need to have the courage to get out of your own way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because, like, you you about to fuck up on a... You about to fuck up. It says be courageous. And stand up for your beliefs. Okay? If you want... I mean, do what you want to do, baby. I can't... I can't... Give me one more in the middle. Because I got I to get one more. Spirit, give me one more. have anything else to say crystal clear intentions it says be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith think about what you really desire and focus on it with unwavering faith again there go that sort of truth like what do you really want what do you want you want your situation to be dry do you really want to get married like, what do, you, what, what do you want? Like, this is someone that is willing to put in the work, regardless of how many past situations that you've been in that was failed. Like, they're willing to work with you. Like, one thing about Scorpio is they're loyal as fuck. They're very passionate. Very, very passionate. Give me some more guidance about this, Scorpio, because I just, like, please clarify this King of Cups. Give me more information about this King of Cups. Just so I can, is this... The ten of motherfucking diamonds. Like, do you understand me? I'm, I don't know how many times I got to tell you that this person is going to protect you. That this person is going to honor you. This person is going to respect you. This is a win-win-win situation right here. You got two tens, the ten of hearts and the ten of motherfucking diamonds. And right on the other side of this person is willing to work everything. Let me go and read this shit so y'all can see what the hell I'm talking about. Because I'm like, I'm not about to, like, because y'all not about to, because I know some of y'all down in the comments like, oh, well, this is, no, you're fucking tripping right now, Mo. I swear to God, like, I'm not, I would not fucking lie to you, young. I would not. The ten of diamonds, and then you got the shield on top of that. This person is going to protect you and honor you and put you in high honor. This is satisfaction, success with money, financial security, a large sum of money, material wealth, riches, freedom from financial worry, speed, fuel, nuclear energy, spiritual energy, flight, airplane, the wind. Do you understand? You sitting up there worrying about holding back your money. This person need to be protecting themselves from their motherfucking money from you. I told you this person got money. They don't want shit from you, my nigga. They just want your love. Like, what you are fucking lunching right now, bro. That's why I'm like, let me let me pull out some more shit to make sure I'm not tripping. The eight. And I told you, you done been in three different goddamn situations that done failed already. This represents the day-to-day -day activity to your daily routine. It indicates how someone spends their time. Most people spend their great part of their day working. So this is also known as the work card. It can represent a job or what one does for a living. This card denotes working something out. Also a card of business and social and sharing reciprocation. It can indicate conversations, discussions, meetings. Conferences, seminars, symposiums, forums, a roundtable discussion. This Scorpio is willing to stick it in and do whatever to work this shit out with you. This person don't care about this person that did this and this person that did this and this person that did that. They are even willing to work on this shit with you to help you get over this shit. But you're not going to keep putting this person down. They're not broke. They don't want nothing from you. They're not trying to use you. They're trying to motherfucking work shit with you out so that both of you guys can find love. They are offering their fucking cup to you. A fucking platinum cup. Oh, my gracious, y'all. I really don't want y'all to fuck this up. Like, I'm getting angry. Like, what are y'all doing? The Ten of Hearts represents victory, emotional fulfillment, happiness, enjoyment, amusement, emotional commitment, marriage, compatibility, heat, warm weather, the summertime. 
let me read this the king of diamonds because listen y'all not y'all not about to do me right now the king of diamonds an intelligent dynamic a professional man restless energetic there's usually money around him he is a wealthy politician an accountant an executive a real estate broker a cpa an investment banker or government official this person got a good ass job and i told you ten of diamonds they are very fucking financially successful where you could put your money away and you probably ain't even gotta go to work on oh god like let me not do no i'm picking up the wrong card that's you um it says he takes great pride in his professional persona if he's not careful, he can be consumed by his work, okay, and neglect other areas of his life. He may be a relative by marriage. Well, you know that this somebody ain't no goddamn relative by marriage because they're trying to court you. But this person has spent a great deal of their life getting yourself financially together. They finally found someone that opened up their heart. And you treating them like they trying to steal something from you. Queen of Spades. An ambitious, skillful, and intelligent woman. Divorced or widowed. Lonely. And don't forget you don't have any children. Okay? She can be an older woman from a foreign country. A leader. A lawyer, a health specialist, so you could work in the health industry, you could work in a law office, clever and capable of conniving and plotting, a spiteful, catty, deceptive, cold, calculating, and emotional, controlled, or detached woman. Okay? So she can be a gossip or a rival in a love or business situation. So, like I said, this person is trying to communicate with you. They're trying to be action-oriented with you. They're, they're really trying to show you their capability, what they're bringing to the table, and all of that. And that y'all can have a ses successful commitment. Like, this person wants to commit to you, and this person wants to marry you. They see all of this in you, but you are emotionally cold. I like I'm trying to tell you like the things that y'all have been saying to this person have been a little bit hurtful and you need to have clear intentions about what it is you want because everything that you putting in your head about this man is the complete fucking opposite if anything you the broke one you could benefit from them being in your life but if you want to hold your vision and want to keep telling yourself that this person is out to get you and this person is trying to do something wrong to you because of your past experiences or what you done read on the internet, then that's on you. Like, do you believe in magic? Are you going to let this cash you die or are you going to take delight in everything that is being presented to you? Because I know there's a lot of people that, because there's a lot of people that just watch every reading that I post and are not even the fucking Leo right now. And they probably like, God damn shit, if you don't want them, I'll take them shit. And I'm telling you, if you don't want them, I'll take them. Because you're tripping. I don't ever get no cards like that with somebody trying to come at me like that. Got their money, got everything together. Like, you tripping. You fucking tripping. What is this? The magician. The magician. This person is older. This person is wise. This person has a lot of great power. Do you understand what I'm saying? The magic card. And you already know. Scorpios are very intuitive. And, you know, can be very spiritual human beings. This person is really trying to manifest greatness with you. And, like, regardless of... The ten of fucking earth. This person is trying to manifest a happy house, a happy home. Oh, you know what? I cannot. I can't. I can't. Yo. Yo. Yo, please, if y'all don't want them, give them to me. Mm-mm. What's that song? I'll take a... If you don't want to, don't waste your time. Hey. If you don't want to, don't waste your time. 
I'll take her. I will take her. Look, it says in matters of love, when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Okay? Every choice that you make expands your understanding of life and love. Look at this man holding on to this woman. Did You can tell this woman clearly got some fucking issues, and I'm sorry. Because this woman, if this resonates with you at all, this is someone that got some emotional motherfucking issues that they got to work on. This woman got to work on herself. Because you're the fucking problem, and you trying to make this man seem like he's everything other than a child of God, and this is a good-ass fucking man. This man is willing to work. I told you this man is willing to work on you. Look. If you don't want them, don't waste their time. I know, and that's what I'm going to name this goddamn thing. If you don't want them, don't waste his time. There's many of people that would take them. Manifesting miracle in the name of Jesus. This is your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. You got to grow. Because the thing is, it's like this video has literally been manifesting love. Like this is what you wanted. And it's how you treat in it. Lord knows when this will come right. Lord knows when the situation will be right for the picking like this again. If you block it and let it get away. Don't say I ain't tell you so. Because I'm telling you. This Scorpio will wake up. The Scorpio will wake up. And they will say. I'm done. And once they're done. It's no coming back from that. Mark my words on it. If you don't want them, don't waste your time. If you don't want them, don't waste their time. Because I'll take them. Give me guidance for these Leos. And this is the rare time that I have ever gotten. Because typically the Leo reading is masculine energy. This is the one in a million time that I've ever... I don't think I've ever even picked up on no female energy. And it's coming out like this. Like this, 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 this not physical activity like you really got to do the physical work this is what this is that heart well no what is this this is that third eye chakra this is that what is that that's more purple than mm, it's kind of like a darkish purple i feel like this is a third eye chakra mixed in with that throat chakra in the middle third eye chakra i see encourages open and honest communication and speak in one's mind's eye. Throat chakra. I speak. Stimulate the desire for knowledge. Truth and understanding. You know. You got to be able to see. And you got to be able to fix your communication with people. Because I'm trying to tell you. Like your words are very cutting. And downright mean. And this Scorpio just been taking this shit. Look, domestic harmony, communication, and the heart chakra. And then that's followed up by health. I'm, so I'm really on some mental health ass shit right now. And don't be offended. And I'm not trying to offend y'all, but I'm keeping this shit 100. Like, this is someone that really got to work with their own self. You got to look at yourself in the mirror and look with this purple. Is that the same color purple? No, I don't think it is. This right here. It do look like the same color purple. Let me see. It's not the same color purple. That's the third eye. This is the crown. Crown chakra. You need to come to some understanding and get rooted in that shit. There is some shit within yourself. You want some bag lady shit. Like you got to clean your shit up. You got to pack light. You got to get your mental health together. You understand? The crown chakra, I understand. It helps healing with personal losses and grief. The root chakra, I am. Protection, awareness, insight, and grounding. You got to come to some understanding and you need to heal some personal losses and griefs. Because you're carrying that. And you are rooted in that. Like you are rooted in this shit. You are holding your vision. And it's keeping yourself stagnant when you got so much on the table that is beautiful, like beautiful, like you got somebody coming at you like for real, like really, 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 that really wants you, that sees the light in you and like, 
Mm. Let's go ahead. Get the turbo light. Clarify this for my Leo. Hold your vision. Seven of Cups. I need you to get out of this state of confusion um, because the Seven of Cups can also mean this is someone that you keep making the same mistakes. You keep making the same wrong choices over and over and over and over and over again. And to some standpoint, I feel like something just has to do with your thinking. It's like you got to get yourself together and get your emotions together. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to let a lot of opportunities pass you by. By you not growing and continuing to make the wrong choices and the same mistakes over and over and over again. Do you understand with the Seven of Cups? This is the Six of Cups. This is like some past life shit, okay? This is something that has to do with your childhood that you need to get emotional grips on. This is someone that is not letting go of one, two, and three. Okay? You finally got someone that is willing to give to you in a healthy, harmonious way. But you can't let go of shit in the past. You know what I'm saying? You got to let go shit in the past. Okay? Like, this person is looking at you with rose-colored glasses, and the only thing you're thinking about is, well, what this one did, and then what this one did, and then, then what this one did. You know? And you need to put yourself in a predicament where you're able to give and receive harmoniously in regards to emotions do you understand and not keep making the same feel decisions and a lot of times it's about looking at the man or the woman in the mirror do you understand it's a lot of emotional shit that needs to be addressed here because your emotions affect your mental capability to This is the hermit in reverse. It's time for you. Like, I really do feel like you've been alone for a minute now. You should be tired of it. It's time for you to come out of hibernation. It's, it's time for you to stop retreating from people. And to do that self-analysis and be done with it. You know what I'm saying? Learn what you need to learn about yourself so that you can be prosperous and move forward. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's really time for you to move past this because you're going to let a good person pass you by. And again, like I said, if you don't want him, don't waste his time because I'll take him. Anyway, I love you, Leo. I'm gone.